Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley and happy Halloween. I'm so excited. In fact, look at these nails. Aren't they honestly the most darling things you have ever seen? They're from Dashing Divas. They're just nail stickers because I am not at all this talented. But these are just so stinky cute and I would honestly wear them year round. <laughs> I hope that you guys are having a wonderful Halloween and that you have tons of fun lined up and that you're able to, you know, do all the fun things that your spooky little hearts desire. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be doing the finale for the Graveyard Project Pan. This is a project that was created by Emily McGinnis and it was such a just smart and wonderful idea. Within this project, there are two categories. There is collecting cobwebs, which um, are basically the products within our collection that are much older than what we would like for them to be, as well as the category of resurrection, which is bringing some of our products out from their panning graveyard, I guess, um, that has either been something that's been in a project and you haven't met your goal on it, or it had, you did meet your goal, but you really haven't used it a whole lot since and need another excuse to bring it back out and get it into the rotation. So I have been working on three products from each category and overall this project has been really quite successful for me. Up until this point, I had met my goal on five different products and I believe all of those, yeah, no, all but one of them were complete empties. So that feels amazing. So I'm going to be telling you where I landed on the remaining six products in this project. And sadly, we are going to be saying goodbye to it, but only for this year. I have every belief that it will be back next year for all of our panning hearts to enjoy. So let's go ahead and start as always on my collecting cobwebs category. So the first thing to talk about, let's see, I had, are these all? I don't know, I'm getting confused now because some of them kind of fall into more than one category. So instead of that, let's just start from the top and just talk about all the products in this. So the first one I know is from the resurrection category and these are from Algenis. These are my reveal concentrated color drops. These are in the shade green. These were in the very first project pan that I ever did back in 2018, I wanna say. Um, it has been in this project now twice, last year and then again this year. And I am so incredibly pleased to report Sorry, the dropper wants to roll away. That it's completely empty. I scraped out everything that I possibly could. Like it's still definitely clinging in many places, but I scraped out as much of this as I possibly could. And I am so excited to call this an empty. This is way, way overdue. So I did use it an additional 17 times since our last update to get it to this completed stage. And you guys, I couldn't be more happy. I couldn't be more happy. The next item in this project is from It Cosmetics. This was in, see, this is one of the ones that I don't remember if this was collecting cobwebs or resurrection because A, it's incredibly old. This is from It Cosmetics. Uh, all of the writing has basically worn off of it. This is the Bye Bye Under Eye Corrector in light. It's in the potted version. I'm not sure that they make this anymore. This was in my project graveyard last year and I wanted to hit the jar on it and I didn't get that goal. So this year I did. Look at that. Look at that big, beautiful pan down there on the bottom. Love it. I actually hit pan on this either three or four days ago, I can't remember now, um, but I did use it an additional 45 times up until today. So I, I guess I used it 41 or two times in order to hit goal, but I just decided, you know what? My finale is right around the corner. No reason to just stop using it because he hit goal. And so, yes, this feels really good. I enjoy this product a lot. There's still, as you can see, 
heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps of product in here. I am nowhere near completing this. This is essentially my skin tone in a concealer. So what I have actually been using it for is before I put on my foundation, I will actually use it to color correct and try to hide, <laughs> try to hide some of the dark under eye circles that I have. I'll then go in with my foundation and a different concealer on top of that. Uh, and you can still see mama's tired. So <laughs> I really do enjoy this product quite a bit. It's also really nice on blemishes because it is my skin tone. So it will absolutely be sticking around and I'm sure that you will see it in projects to come. The next item, this is probably collecting cobwebs. I don't believe that this has been in a project before. This is from Tarte. This is probably the oldest foundation that I have in my collection at this point. This is the Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. My goal was to get it down to below the lettering and I have done that. So hopefully you can see that why I thought using a gold Sharpie marker would be the right idea. Not sure, but um, I am thrilled that I've gotten it down to this point and I have a feeling that I will try to pan this next year because it's definitely old. It is probably five years old at this point. It still works well, it doesn't break me out, doesn't have a funky smell to it, but I do need to focus on getting it out. So that will probably happen next year, but that is another goal met. So, so far, I am three for six. So technically I hit goal on this one as well. This was probably for resurrection, but again, it could be under collecting cobwebs. This is from Tarte as well. This is their Amazonian clay 24 hour blush in the shade Unstoppable. This is just a deluxe sample. They don't make this shade anymore. This had to have come in like an Ipsy or a, like a set or maybe Boxy Charm, I don't know, but I know that I didn't purchase it specifically, but it has been in many, many projects. The goal that I have had in the past was to hit pan. And as you can see, we have no pan at all. This was in my A to Z project pan a few years ago, used it all year, didn't hit pan, um, used it throughout this project, still didn't hit pan. My goal was to use it 45 times and I used it 49 times. So I exceeded my goal, but pan is never going to appear in this product. So that's just face facts. Um, I also have an eyeshadow. This is from probably Resurrection. This was my very first pan that palette back in 2018. I did not do well with it. My goal was to hit pan on the shade Lucky Charm which I have done as well. Again, feels really, really great to have met another goal. However, I've come to a determination when it comes to this palette. It's a very old palette, and while Lucky Charm was probably my favorite shade in this palette, every time I used it, I just needed something else on top of it to make it more punchy and I don't know if it's that it's because it's an old palette or simply because my tastes have changed. As you can see, sparkly, bright, shifty, fun, over the top shadow is kind of where I'm at these days. This is not that. This is perfect for everyday neutral going to the office sort of looks and the reality is I have these shades in my collection over and over and over and over again and I just don't reach for this palette outside of being in a project so I'm actually gonna go ahead and declutter this so I'm very very glad that I hit my goal on it but I'm also really glad that I pulled it into this project because it really highlighted the fact that I just don't need this in my life anymore so another goal met and a declutter as well the final item that is in this project is collecting cobwebs. Yeah. So this is the Skin & Co Truffle Therapy um, Refreshing Mist, the Radiant Dew. This came in a boxy charm, and I don't think I've really used it since unboxing it, which is honestly why I canceled my subscription boxes. Nothing was getting used. So it was my goal to use it to where it got to being below this little design here. I almost made it. I almost made it, but I did not quite get there. So 
Kind of a bummer that I didn't make gold on it, but I had not, like I said, I had not used this at all. And this is, I mean, it's fine. It's probably not going to be something that I continue to use at the moment. I think I'm going to start working on some other sprays that I just prefer more. But I'm sure I'll come back and finish this guy off because there's no reason not to. I think it smells really nice. Um, I'm sure it has some sort of like skin carry sort of benefits in it. There's nothing wrong with it. The sprayer is not the best, but there's nothing wrong with it. So I am going to hold on to it, but probably not going to be seeing it again for at least a little while. So that is where we ended up. I hit goal on 10 items in this project. 10 items. I am so happy about that. I am so happy about that. I feel like whenever you can feel really, really successful in a project, it just makes you want to do it again so much more. So I hope that you have enjoyed this project. I have definitely enjoyed participating in it. Thank you again to Emily for creating this project and for, you know, just being such an inspiration to us all. <laughs> all right, everyone, as always, everything that I'm wearing as well as everything that I'm working on is going to be linked in the description box below, as well as links to Emily's channel and the community playlist and all that kind of good stuff. So make sure you check it out. And if you have not yet subscribed, I hope that you'll consider doing so. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I hope that you're having an amazing day and I will see you next time. Bye.